I'm in the process of converting this room, this large cupboard, into a place I can make stuff in. Um, it's quite small, as you'll see we're having to film in a mirror to get the camera far enough away. So it's going to need careful fitting out. And before I do that, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a project in the room to get an idea for what it's like to work in. So my project was making this machine here and in the rest of this video I'm going to tell you all about it. There's a rather lovely principle in maths called Fourier synthesis which tells us that we can combine simple sinusoidal oscillations or waves to produce much more complicated periodic oscillations or waves. I thought it would be fun to have a go at doing this mechanically showing how we can combine these three simple up and down oscillations of the pulleys to produce the much more complicated movement of this marker. I imagine lots of people have done this before. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I thought it would be interesting just to have a go myself anyway. I used a motor and gears to get the motions I needed. The leftmost gear goes round rather slowly and has a long arm attached to it. The middle gear goes round three times as fast and its arm is a third as long as the first gear. And then the rightmost gear goes round five times as fast as the first gear and its arm is only a fifth as long as the first gears. So these gears pull strings up and down and the strings pass through guides and then from the strings hang these pulleys that move up and down with simple movements which are very close to being sinusoidal. The left one on the one on the left going through a large and slow oscillation, the one in the middle going a third as far but three times as often than the one on the right a fifth as far and five times as often. And if we carry on going down, we come to a set of fixed gears and a, the free end of the cord that you can see is attached to a weight at the bottom. The cord is fixed at one end and it's free at the other end with the weight hanging off it out of shot. And it passes up around the movable pulleys and the fixed pulleys along the way. Now each pulley causes a cord to do a detour and the length of that detour depends upon the position of the pulley. As the pulley moves up, the detour gets longer by in fact twice the movement of the pulley because there are two arms of the detour. And the effect of all three of these is to add up the motions of those pulleys and double it to create the motion of the marker at the end. So even those, though those pulleys are moving in simple sinusoidal movements, the marker has a much more complicated movement. It almost stops at each end of its movement and moves swiftly between the two end positions. And you can see it wobbling up and down a bit at each end before it moves down. And as it wobbles, you can see the pulleys arguing among each other about which way that marker should move. But every so often they stop bickering and all agree to move it in the same direction. If we added more components to the machine, so another pulley that was moving seven times as fast as the first one, but one seventh as fast and one at nine, 11, 13, and so on, then the movement of the marker uh, would be much more abrupt and it would stay much more still at the end. And in principle, we could get a, a complete square wave motion out of it if we wanted to. Now you're probably wondering what happens to the um, other parts of the wire, so I've added markers to those. Now if you have a look at the left one, that is simply following the movement of the leftmost pulley at double the amplitude. The one in the middle has now got the motion of the first two pulleys in it. As it comes to the end of the motion, goes down, does a little bob, up, down, and then it goes back to the other end. 
and it carries on like that, just doing a little bob at the end of its motion. Then if you have a look at the right hand one, which combines the movement of all three pulleys, that does two bobs at the end. Up, down, up, down, and off it goes. If we added a fifth pulley, it would do three bobs and so on. 